Hey guys, it's Bella Teal. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make some of Starbucks' most famous drinks like the pink drink and caramel frappuccino, how I stock ingredients and supplies, how I clean, and also just kind of talk about what it's like actually working at Starbucks. So let's start off with a tour of my workspace. Here you can see I have some of the inclusions like matcha, the java chips, the vanilla bean powder, and then the new chocolate malt powder. Here's the espresso machine. And then up here we have all the settings for your espresso shots where you can put it as in decaf or blonde espresso depending on how you want your coffee. And you can also set the temperature to the right as really hot, that's the first one on the top, or really low at kids temperature. Then over here you can determine how many shots you actually want, so one, two, or three, as you can see by the cups. And then you can use the arrows to set it as decaf or blonde espresso. Then over here is my favorite part. We have all the syrups, like the chai and the white mocha, dark caramel, and of course my favorite, the dark mocha. That's so good. I love chocolate. And then of course we have this very aesthetically pleasing setup of all the other syrups. And then one thing that I think is really cool is that you can put a cup on this little black thing and it rinses your stuff out. I don't know why, I just find that so cool. Here's the ice machine, pretty cool. And breaking up the ice is a great way to relieve stress from dealing with those angry customers. Just kidding, just kidding. And then here's the oven. You just press the button and it automatically sets the time for you. You don't even have to worry about it. Here's some more of our supplies. Here's the strawberries that go in the refreshers, the dragon fruit, and then of course the blackberries that go in the very, very hibiscus refresher. And then some more syrups over here. We have a lot of syrups if you couldn't tell. And then this is the coffee grinding machine that we put over here in the brewer, which actually makes our fresh coffee. And then a very fun part is the dishwashing station. Here's the pastry case. And then the first thing I do is I take the customer's order. Obviously, as you can see, I work at a Starbucks inside of a grocery store. It's definitely not as cool as working as a regular Starbucks, but I do get to see a lot of cute boys, so that's a plus. But anyways, so I write down their order on the cup, plug in their order on the cash register, and then if they order any pastries or food, I get that out right away for them. And then after that, I just start working on the drink. All right, it's time for the fun part of this video, making drinks. So right here, we're gonna be starting off with a pink drink. This customer also ordered matcha cold foam. So the first thing I do is pour the strawberry base to the first line. Now I'm adding the coconut milk to the second line. And then after that, I'll add in the ice and the strawberries. And then I put the cap on, give it a good shake, shake, shake. Then I just pour it in the cup making sure to leave room for the cold foam. And then to make cold foam, all you do is put in vanilla sweet cream to the 150 milliliter line on the small pitcher, and then add in any flavor you want. So again, this person wanted matcha. Oops, I spilled some. <laughs> but you just add one scoop of the matcha powder and then pour it on top. Next, we have the Caramel Ribbon Crunch Frappuccino. This is a pretty popular order at my store. So I put in four pumps of the coffee roast. I pour in whole milk to the first line. Bruh. Then I add four pumps of the dark caramel syrup. One, two, three, four. Then I'm just going to add ice and then blend it in the blender. Then I add caramel drizzle on the side and it looks so good. Oh yeah, look at that. Then once it's done blending, I take it out of the blender, pour it into the cup. Ooh, looks so good. Okay. Then I just add some whipped cream. Wow, this is making me hungry. And then the Carbol Ribbon Crunch Sprinkles. Okay, put a lid on it, get a straw, and then we serve it. 
Moving on to hot drinks, we've got a cappuccino, which is exactly like a latte, except we steam the milk longer so it has more foam. So I just poured in the milk into the pitcher, then I'm going to steam the milk for six to eight seconds. And then I'm going to cue the espresso shots. Take out the milk, wipe down the steam wand so that it doesn't get all sticky. Tap the milk, swirl it around, and then just pour the milk on top of the espresso shots. And I like to pour the milk all the way to the top because I personally hate when I go to Starbucks and my drink has like an inch of nothing at the top. Like I want my money's worth. That was a $6 freaking coffee. Come on. Then just finish with a lid and a sleeve and you're good to go. Finally, we have a decaf vanilla latte, which is basically the same process as before, only this time we're going to aerate the milk for one to three seconds since it is a latte. And we're also going to add five pumps of vanilla syrup right after I cue the shots, which are of course going to be decaf. Then I just wait for the milk to get done, again wiping off the steam wand, steaming it, tapping, swirling, and then pouring the milk on top. And then we don't usually put whipped cream on lattes but this person specifically asked for it. And that's it. All right, this is where, this is our stock room. So this is where we keep all the syrups, all the coffee, and all the cups, as you can see. I have to grab some blonde espresso, because we need more. And those come in one of those silver bags. I actually can't find any of these silver bags that say blonde, so we must be out of them. So I'm just going to grab two of these. These are also our blonde espresso, but we can actually sell these ones too. But we're going to use these today. Here's a cute video of me stocking. You can see me getting some kiwi fruit inclusions from up top and checking it off the list. Something that surprised me while working at Starbucks is that I didn't realize how much of a fast food restaurant it really is. In the sense that a lot of the drinks have a lot of sugar and calories. I feel like a lot of people hold Starbucks in a higher regard than places like McDonald's. But you could seriously gain so much weight from drinking Frappuccinos every day, it's crazy. But in terms of actually making the drinks, I was pretty overwhelmed by how complicated the drinks were when I was first learning how to make them. But once you know the basic recipe for each type of drink, you're good. Like, you're set. So yeah, you can just see me getting some cups. Checking it off the list. Look at her. Look at her being organized. Checking it off the list. Go me. Go me. Yeah, go Bella. Go Bella. <laughs> Here's me stocking and refilling the cups because we were getting low. And it's really important to constantly check your supplies as a barista because especially if you're working alone, you are the only person there to stock and you can't rely on other people to stock for you. So if you run out while being in the middle of an order, like that's on you. So it's very important to always be stocking whenever you don't have customers. That way, when customers do come, you are prepared. Here I'm just dating a refresher base and coconut milk that I just opened. And when we don't have customers for a few minutes, my coworker and I just talk, we kind of chill, we vibe, we have a good time, you know. Everyone I work with is really nice, which I love. But for now, I'm just going to let you guys kind of observe me on the job and kind of feel like you're in there with me. So I'll be quiet for a few minutes.
Finally, at the end of the night, I go through and do lots of cleaning to close up shop, like wiping the cabinets, the fridges, checking that nothing expires, doing dishes, taking the trash out, etc. Working at Starbucks consists of a lot more cleaning and stocking than I thought baristas would do, but overall, would I recommend working at Starbucks? Yes, it is pretty fun getting to make delicious drinks and food all day, especially when people order secret menu drinks. I had a customer who ordered a churro frappuccino and it smelled so good, like an actual churro. I almost took a bite out of it. I also had a customer who ordered a rose gold drink and it looked super cool. And it's also pretty cool to be able to tell people that you work at Starbucks because everybody knows Starbucks and pretty much everybody loves their drinks. Also, a perk as a barista is that you get to sample all of the new drinks for free when they come out. For example, I'm sure most of you have heard of the brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso and the chocolate almond milk shake and espresso that just came out this spring. And because as a barista, you have to be able to describe what a drink tastes like to your customers, we get to taste them for free. Even if you're not the most extroverted person, you can still thrive as a barista. Although everybody I've worked with, including myself, has experienced a customer that made them cry. So don't be surprised if you end up crying in your first week of working. Trust me, we've all been there. Well, that's all I have for you guys right now, but if you have any questions about what it's like working at Starbucks, my experiences, what drinks I'd recommend, don't be afraid to ask it in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.